Hey Sammy fam, today I'm going to show you guys how we are making a kind of Itali Italian, 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 Italian inspired sandwich. Vowels are hard. Italian inspired chicken sandwich here. So I'm just using some uh, chicken breast strips because they were cheap. We're going to season these up. kind of Italian-esque. Give them a drizzle of olive oil. Just some like pre-mixed Italian seasoning. What's that usually like? Oregano, basil, marjoram. A little bit of garlic powder. Crutch of pepper. Fresh cracked pepper as well. Because there are different flavors, you know. Our salt. And to get this nice and coated. And it's okay to use your hands with chicken, guys. Just, you know, wash up before and after. So now I gotta wash my hands, even though I really wanna lick them. Okay, we'll just set this in the fridge while we start prepping other stuff. I have some rosemary focaccia here. I really like this bread alone focaccia. It makes a good sandwich because it has the thickness that I want. You can see here. And now here comes the tricky part. I'm going to try to cut this in half pretty evenly all the way through. Because I really want to throw it in the oven with the cut side exposed. Just to get a little crunch on it. You can probably hear in the background I got the oven preheating to 350. I just wanted to warm this up and get it nice and kind of toasty. Because our ingredients on here are going to be wet and I don't want the bread to fall apart. Toasting it will kind of help with that. Okay, fairly decent job on that. Let's throw this in this oven. So we'll just leave that in there. Check on it, make sure it doesn't burn in a little bit. Next up, we're gonna make a sauce for our chicken. So we are going to do it in a blender cup here. And you know what, all this rosemary that fell off the bread I love rosemary. We'll put that in the sauce. I have a little bit of fresh oregano. It'll be nice and Italian-y. So I'm going to the blender. I'm just going to stick it in stalks and all. Except for that big woody bit. Only the soft bits. Out the good stuff. Nice fresh oregano flavors. We'll add fresh basil to that. We'll get some rest of some of these like limp bad ones on top. Ew. I can't complain though because this basil was insanely cheap. I tried going to Trader Joe's and buying some ingredients. And they cost like half as much as buying them at the local grocery store close to my house. So I might start going to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods no more because they are cheaper. I'm going to put a 
bunch of basil in here. I don't need to worry about ripping it up too much because it's going to blend. Okay, that'll be very basil-y. This basil and oregano already smells amazing. We're going to add mayonnaise to that. Some lemon juice. Kind of a hard lemon here. A lot of seeds in here. Don't want to get all these seeds in my. Oh, there's one seed. Oops, two seeds. Juice of half a lemon. Get some pepper in here. And we'll get some fresh garlic clove in here as well. I like to make sauces like this early on in the recipe so they have the most time to just sit and meld all their flavors. Honestly, if you made this the night before, it would be its best. A tiny touch of salt. And a little bit of olive oil. So like a teaspoon. Give that a shake and we'll give it a blend. That is insanely delicious. Let's just check on our bread real quick. All right, that's getting a little toasty. I can't stop eating. This sauce is so good. I think I'm going to want some tomato slices. One more just in case. Some red onion. I love the brightness of red onion. I feel the need to defend myself from the angry trolls in the comments and angry Italians. Yes, I know this is not actual Italian food. This is just Italian flavor inspired, made by a man who spent his youth growing up in Missouri, moved to New York City when he was 21. And it's now lived here over a decade. So that's my mash of cultural influence. And we're going to need some mozzarella cheese. Just some fresh mozzarella here. Let's 
break it up so it'll be easier to put on my sandwich. And if that's not enough, we have another whole ball. But I think this will be enough. And we'll have a nice bed of arugula ready to go. Okay, so let's get our chicken cooked up real quick. Make sure it's all spread out in a nice even layer so it'll cook at relatively the same rate. I'm gonna wash out my pan so I can just go ahead and reuse it for the cooked chicken because we'll want to toss it with our homemade sauce in just a couple minutes. This will cook for probably just about like three minutes per side because these are pretty, pretty thin. Just depends on what kind of chicken you're using. I often prefer to use chicken thighs because of the fat and flavor content, but we're seasoning this so much it's going to taste great. And if I want my wife to enjoy some leftovers, she's not really a big fan of chicken thighs, so I'll get breast meat instead. Okay, I think that's looking good to turn. Yeah, we're getting a little color. Come on. It smells really good. Whenever I'm checking chicken, then it's okay to break something up like this. This is all going to get chopped up in the end anyway. Uh, I'll just pick like a thick spot. Give it a little chop. A little hard in the nonstick pan since I can't use a metal utensil, but... Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, good enough. I don't want to overcook this. Looks cooked. Let's just give this a quick chop. makes it easier to eat in a sandwich so you're not pulling out entire strips of chicken, you know. Try a little bit. Mm, juicy and delicious. Back into the bowl. Okay, let's add sauce. So good. It's gonna be a messy sandwich because it's gonna be so wet, but that's okay. Mm. Okay, let's assemble this on a baking tray here. Bed of wild arugula. Comes triple washed, so I don't have to worry about that. Red onion, I like lots of red onion. Then on top of that, we're gonna do chicken. Save a few pieces for my wife just to eat because she'll like that. Tomato slices. And cheese, which we're going to put on the, the other half. Mm. 
one last little crack of pepper over this just to accentuate everything. And then we're gonna put it under a broiler set on high. Okay, I can smell, it is just about ready. Ooh, looks delicious, crispy edges. Melty cheese. Carefully. sandwich suitable for a party or one really hungry boy.